Shannon aka QB Crossing and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So as you can see with this very strange arrangement of items behind me, today we are going to have a very interesting build. So I was chatting with a few other Animal Crossing YouTubers and we thought it'd be fun to do a design challenge where we all picked an item and we had to all include it in each of our builds. So you can see the diagram on the screen here and that is the item that each of the YouTubers chose and we are all going to include each item in our builds. So anything that's customizable, we can customize. Anything that's not, I guess you're out of luck, <laughs> but these are the items and I can tell you that I have never used any of these items in builds before and this is very out of my comfort zone. So I'm excited to see what we can make and hopefully this comes out good. But I hope that you guys enjoy and if you do, please be sure to like and subscribe and definitely check out all of the other YouTubers videos which I will have in the description below as well. So the first thing that I'm doing here is just looking at all of the items together. So I am trying to see if there's any patterns that I can find, if there's anything that might gel well with, with something else. And this is really going to be tricky, but I did have an idea because I was seeing a very like Japanese theme coming in with a lot of these items, like the bridge and the, the imperial dining table, even the cart banner I think could work for like a Japanese restaurant. So I'm gonna start laying out some pathing. I did download this stone path, which I think is really, really nice. And I, I don't think it's too colorful, so it will work well with the arrangement of items that I need to use. So I'm laying this out and I'm going to just Put down my pathing for a general size of how big I think this area will be and then I think I want to have the bridges as an entry point to this area I think that will make them kind of fit in with this restaurant theme and make it kind of like a grand entrance to this little like area that I'm making here. So I'm going to lay down all this pathing first. I'm probably going to surround it with some trees and fencing. And then as you can see here, I'm putting down my bridges. So I wanted to do two next to each other. I think that this really helps, at least for me, when I'm using items that I don't like to play around with symmetry because it makes them feel more... I, I guess intentional than how I usually would build. So with natural items or natural islands, you don't do a lot of symmetry, but your items are cohesive, so it works. Whereas in this situation, since I have to mix a lot of different items that may not gel well together, I think symmetry is going to be my friend here. So I'm also using this imperial fencing. I thought, why not take any items that I can that have a red coloring and bring them in because a lot of the items that I'm using are red. So like I'm saying, like I was saying before, that idea of cohesiveness to really bring some of these items together is probably gonna help me out. I then decided to put the frozen sculpture as almost a little, I guess exactly what it is as a sculpture when you walk into this restaurant and again playing with that idea of symmetry so I have them exactly across from each other and I think that that is kind of cute actually I don't mind that frozen sculpture when you walk into the restaurant it's not exactly a centerpiece but it's more just a little bit of a nice I, I guess I don't I don't even know what to call it a nice touch on each side so I also think that by adding in some natural elements it really helps tie this area together so I'm bringing in a lot of these hedges some trees I think I'm gonna add some flowers later as well and I'm just gonna start building and filling in all of the hedging the flooring and some more I guess just like trees around the general space to make sure that I have an area to kind of work inside of. So I'm going to keep building for a second and I'll be right back to chat a little bit more about it.
kind of creating these symmetrical sculptures on each side of the entryway, I thought that I could turn the elephant slide around, kind of how you see it there, and it will just kind of look like I don't know, part of the centerpiece. I think it kind of works weirdly. So I'm gonna leave that elephant slide there. I kind of check one item off of my list for this design challenge. And I actually don't hate how it looks. I think the red and black kind of works with this space. And adding on to that little left and right side even more, I'm going to add the carp banners in. I think that these actually work really nicely and I, I think it's kind of a cool feel. It almost feels like you're walking into like a marketplace. Um, I, I don't know. I think it works for this restaurant. I also added in an outdoor bath. These give me a very zen feeling. I think it kind of goes with the Japanese aesthetic here and it works perfectly for a middle centerpiece of this area. So I'm really actually not minding how this area is coming out so far. I do need to still figure out how I'm gonna put the interior imperial dining table in. So I'm going to expand that back uh, pathing that I have over there. So I'm going to just bring it out a little bit more and continue to add in trees to keep giving it this kind of like natural, almost park restaurant feeling. If that is even a thing, I'm kind of making it a thing. <laughs> and that will help me again, like I was saying before, just work within a space. I always love to, for some reason, lay down all my pathing lay down the surrounding area and then work have something to work inside of so you'll notice me doing that a lot pulling out the pathing and then figuring out what i'm going to do with the inside of the area so now i'm going to look for the imperial dining table i know i have all my items out over there it just is easier for me than having everything in my pockets so i'm going to finish up the centerpiece here i added in these little street lamps i think that it kind of works since this has that very like park outdoor feeling and it just again is adding into that symmetry which i think is the key to this build here i need to have as much symmetry as possible to make these items feel like they actually belong some flowers in front of the hedges. I think that the more natural elements that I could add into this to kind of balance off the more symmetrical builds that I have going on with everything else, it just kind of helps the area feel a little bit more, I don't know, realistic and natural for me. So I like how, how that looks. And now I am just continuing the pathing even more because I still have to fit in the other items like the imperial dining table which I think I'm going to just have right in the center here have it as kind of like the one and only place to eat at this restaurant it's gonna be a very fancy restaurant that only seats two and then I'm going to start customizing these simple panels I had an idea for the bidet item where I can just make it a bathroom since this is a restaurant there should be a bathroom there and I'm just going to put the bidet in the back and create like a little room for it with the simple panels so I'm still continuing to fill out the back area putting those trees down like I've said a couple of times just helps me kind of know where to stop with the build and where the end of this area is so let's see how this bidet area idea that I have comes out I've never really used simple panels for my builds before and I always struggle with them so I know this will take me a couple of tries before I make something that looks even like remotely realistic so I am just playing around with how these fit together that definitely doesn't look right so I think if I add the simple another simple panel towards the back the front area will just be covered by the tree and it might look somewhat realistic 
I think I like that. So, you know what? I don't mind the bidet. It's okay, Katie. Thank you for giving us the bidet to work with here. So now I'm just going to continue with any of my other symmetrical items around here to, to kind of tie the area in. So I'm filling in with the hedges and the imperial fencing. And I have to say, I really like how the hedging looks behind the imperial fence. I just think hedging and fencing together is always kind of fun to do and I'm kind of shocked how much I don't mind all these red items. So I think the last item I need is this floating block. I'm just going to put it up behind the tree and maybe put some plants on top of it. I'm kind of pretty much just try to hide it as much as I can because that item's a little bit funky to work with but again doing that whole symmetrical thing so there's another one on each side. I think we're pretty close to being done. I'm just gonna continue filling in the little finishing touches with the hedges and fencing, and then we'll look at the final build. So here we are in the final build and I'm not gonna lie. I I don't hate this area I really was scared to start this build But it was kind of fun to force yourself to work with some items that you've never used before so I think You know, it's not my best build. I'm not gonna sit here and, and say that but it was a, definitely a fun challenge I think that this is kind of a cool idea and a good design exercise to get you just thinking creatively again and working with some items that maybe you wouldn't necessarily think to use so as you can see I have the bridges I have the frozen sculptures the elephant slide the carp banner imperial dining table you could see the little asteroid hiding behind the carp banner on the right over there well, it's kind of hidden, but it is there. It kind of just looks like a floating rock. I have the two floating blocks and the bidet. So I think, you know, this was definitely a challenge, but I thought it was really fun. And I can't wait to see what everyone else did with their items. So be sure to check out everyone's videos. I'll have them all in the description below. And yeah, this is the final piece. I don't actually mind it <laughs> i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to like and subscribe leave a comment let me know what you thought if you'd like to see more like this and i will see you guys next time bye mm -hmm.